What's going on today guys, Lego Man 213 here bringing you an all new custom Lego truck review. This is the Technic log truck, the one I had been posting on for a while, uh, just in that community section. So this is the completed version. Uh, this truck is originally the Lego Technic heavy duty tow truck set. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if this is completely the same length as the heavy duty wrecker only because i had to one move the tandems forward and put the tag axle that was in the front of the tandems put them in the put it in the back uh so basically everything back here got flip-flopped and i believe if i remember right i did lengthen some things out uh the truck obviously it did get painted uh, along with the back, and then I was able to also do full true duels back there as well. So, that, that looks good the way I wanted it to. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, starting off, number one, the truck, as the heavy-duty wrecker, the driveline ran the pistons to the engine. So, the hood still opens up. The pistons do not move because the driveline is not hooked up due to how I had to set things up to make it look level and the moving of the rear tandems, I had to disconnect the driveline. So the engine's still there, it just doesn't have the driveline hooked up. However, this Technic rod still runs the tires. So I can still turn the tires and everything. Uh, so you guys can look here, this is how I painted it. Uh, what I did, I ended up, I painted the entire thing gray. I took, you know, like I obviously took masking tape to the fuel tanks, the mirrors, the visor. Well, I actually took the visor off, but a few things here and there I did mask off and then other ones I did take off. And then from there I masked off the hood, painted the fenders blue and was good to go. I did have to hand paint the bumper, the the grill surrounds and other than that i believe that's the only thing i actually had to touch up in terms of gray well chrome uh starting off in the front what did i add so i added this technic element right here it's just a it's basically one of these and i just cut the end off and glued it on there that's to resemble and act as the front hitch pin and don't mind the dog that's jackson that's neptune he's just chewing a bone uh also what i added i added this chrome well piece of aluminum so what it is it's just a i think i have it here so this is what i used it's Schweppes, it's a pop can. I just, what I did was I scratched off the, I, I'm guessing this is paint of some sort. I just scratched that off to where I got chrome and then cut it out and then shaped it how I wanted. So that's what I used for that uh, bug deflector visor. And then I just painted on the Kenworth logo. Nothing too fancy. Uh, one by one, clearish orange, clear orangish colored. Uh, Lego studs to resemble the turn signals on the fenders. I did weather the tires, so all the tires, except for the inner duels, did get like weathered on the actual outside, as well as I ran the tires themselves through mud. Um, but I did those photos outside, so pretty much every tire got dirty. Uh, all along with that, I added CB antennas, you can see there, and there, those are just broom bristles from like your everyday house broom for a dustpan that comes with a dustpan. Uh, next up, so the heavy duty tow truck originally only comes with three cab lights, those three right here in the middle. I added these cheese sloped pieces uh, and actually brought them back a little bit, and I think they actually turned out very good. Uh, I kept the factory, I guess you call them factory air horns, the visor. Uh, I got rid of one of the exhausts because this truck is based off of a one in real life that I used to see in the log yard. So that truck has only a single stack. 
Uh, so you can see that right there. That was a little tricky because I had to modify how I was going to mount said stack. Sorry about that. Other than that, that was the only real issue I had with the cab. Uh, basically, what I did was I just kind of looked at the cab and was like, okay, I can just add this piece, put this little pin here, it can pivot, and I can set it in good. So that's that. I added a def tank on the right side, and then this is, I'm counting this as the regen system, and then the fuel tank is on the other side. The doors can all open. The hood obviously can still open. The steering works and everything. So, yeah. And then on both sides of the headache rack, I added... Uh, how many did I add? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Five uh, one-by-one one, uh, translucent orange studs to resemble chicken lights that's what those are on the truck and you if i turn this around you can see those right there uh the actual the most challenging part was building the actual grapple uh not this portion the actual grapple of the 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 frame of the grapple getting the a-frame right getting it structurally sound so it doesn't move etc uh, other than that, once I got that done, that was pretty straightforward. I knew you know, where I was going to mount it and how I was going to mount it, but building it and making it structurally sound was the most challenging. And then I painted up this portion here. This is to resemble the ladder, and it's red, and then everything else is black. So what I did for the log bunks, moving on to them, I spaced them out how I wanted them tried to make them as even as possible. And then I put Technic pins, just the, the black ones I did there on all of them. And then I also glued everything. So yes, they're a little flimsy, but they flimsy in the sense of these ones aren't glued. These, any ones that have this, so there's just, just the one Technic pin connecting everything, those are glued together. So this one and this one are glued together. These ones, I. I found they have two pins here and then two pins here. So they're kind of like an L shape and they worked very well for holding the corner. And then I added this, uh, plate, well not plate, uh, brick as well, this Technic one. And that is, uh, basically just bracing. If you do set logs in the middle here, like if you're doing full length logs, it'll keep them from riding up onto the tires when stuff is flexing. Uh, I added toolboxes here and right there. Those are glued on just so they don't fall off. And then these are Lego chains. Those are to resemble tire chains. So they're just literally hanging out there. Uh, other than that, oh, before I forget, I did forget to mention this portion here on both sides of the truck i did paint by hand uh, that's, that's to resemble a chrome strip uh so moving on to the back and yes one of my rear tandems did fall off but that gives you guys the opportunity to see how i did this so what i had to do on the inside that's my connection and then i have that so let me pause the video and i will put that back on Okay, so got that on. As you can see, those are the Technic connections. It's just that gray piece and then those light gray uh, Technic uh, plush shaped rods. Those connect everything together. Now you can see the weathering and all that. So the grapple itself just hangs out and it clamps onto that bar right there. And that just keeps it from riding around, well, not falling off when you're driving down the road. Along with that, I added two uh, red translu translucent red Lego studs right here. Just did a dab of hot glue here and here. Those are to resemble your brake lights. And then this is the push bar for the truck. Along with that, I printed off Kenworth mud flaps. Uh, painted. I had to paint the backside black just because, you know, it's black and then it's white paper. Uh, but yeah, those are there. That's how the truck looks in real life. And then the tag axle, that is something similar. So 
this piece here I keep when the tag is up. It keeps it up off the ground. You know, it's aired up and it's up off the ground. So that is there. Then I can also take this, take this off. And then what I do is there is, it's hard to show it. There's two of the black pins. So once I bring that down, I set those in basically the same pin orientation, only it's up one and it goes in right where this goes and that keeps the tag axle actually level with all the other tires and it actually does allow the truck to distribute the weight. So if I don't have the tag axle down, the rear end of the truck is doing one of these. So when I bring the tag axle and set it there, it actually supports its own weight, which is nice. Um, this is the right side of the rear end of the truck. It gives you guys a, a look-see at that. Uh, nothing too fancy, but I just wanted to make it look you know, good if I was to present it like that. Uh, along with that, I went through and did... Uh, let's see if I can get it into focus or not. Yep. So I did Serco loader. Uh, I printed that off. Normally that would say 8500 series on it, but I couldn't find one of those, so I just did a Serco loader. But the truck in real life does have a Serco 8500 series, and that's what that is. So, other than that, guys, I'm going to say that's basically it. So, now what I will do is I'll take these logs, which is for this truck, and I will put them, start to put them on here so you guys can get an idea of what that looks like. Alrighty guys, so taking a look, this is how, so the, the driver, he actually owns the trucking company, uh, he would show up sometimes, you know, if they're finishing up a job, sometimes they don't have a full load, so basically I wanted to resemble, show you guys what that would look like, so the truck is, as it sits, is somehow, sometimes how he would show up, you know, his tag axle is not dropped, but I did like the look of the truck when it only had that little bit on there. I mean, they look good, either loaded or empty, but to me, they kind of look even neater when they've just got the front on. I don't know why, but that's what they would look like. And then obviously, you know, he'd have them back here and then stacked in the middle as well. Kind of similar to that, basically, is how those the traditional uh, full load would look like. And that's what that would resemble. So, yeah. Well, zoom out so other than that truck is done uh obviously like i said you know i have those on the headache rack and a lot of these parts i actually didn't have to buy the only ones i actually did have to quote unquote buy were the chains that i ordered those and they came all the way from germany i didn't realize that and then i got an email and it was in german and i was a little curious and when i actually looked it up again i was shocked i was like oh yeah that that's my order so interior uh, it's the same as the uh, Technic Tevy Duty tow truck. I just painted it a little bit. Uh, well, the inside of the doors. But, yeah. So, like I said, a lot of these pieces are originally from the Heavy Duty Wrecker. So, like the headache rack was part of the actual sleeper portion of the headache or the Heavy Duty tow truck, which sat, like, I think here ish. And. Pretty much like the bricks, I had, I you know, I used those out of my own bin. But like the bunks, the headache rack, the grapple system, that all is from the heavy duty tow truck. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I thought I'd put this in to Lego Ideas, and it ended up being denied because of it having other Lego sets in the background, so I'd have to come up with a very ornate uh, photo booth to do such photos, but I think I can manage. Hopefully, I can get that. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, uh, personally, this truck looks good, and I think this would be a pretty neat set if LEGO were to make it. So, yeah. LEGO Man 2 and 3, out.